this is the thing you have to do. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your life to protect your people. That's the thing. You know? My father died from cancer, my daughter has cancer, my son is dying from lupus as I stand here and speak. Yet because I'm a human being, my values say I still need to come here and warn you. Radioactive pollution kills and it doesn't stop at the color line. It doesn't stop at a state line. It doesn't stop at a tribal line. No, it doesn't. Radioactive pollution kills human beings, birds, animals, grasses, Insects, water, everything. They poison our water, our air, our Mother Earth. And we, as the stewards of Mother Earth, recognize we have a sacred duty to protect, to defend, to speak for and with our Mother Earth. Yes. I worked on stopping a proposed in-situ leach uranium mine that would purposefully contaminate the aquifer in the southwest arid region solely for the purpose of mining uranium. The only, the only um, act that I know of is the safe drinking water that addresses the clean water act or the, the ready nuclides. But other than that, um, the clean water act does not do that. And the companies that are doing the mining the uranium mining and CO2 mining <coughs> need to be held accountable for all the contamination that Woo! they're doing. All right, thank you. And we know that the market value of uranium is not going to it's not going to benefit us as the people. It's not going to create any jobs. It's just going to create pollution. Say and that so again. Dakota's famous for Mount Rushmore. All the three million tourists going there breathe in radioactive pollution. So please. Make some noise for Patooch Gilbert from the Akama Nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The sign over there, the banner that says, from the four corners to Fukushima, no nukes. I went to Japan in November to the Nuclear Victims Forum, and we used that banner at Hiroshima. And we're working together with the Japanese people that we not become hibakushas. I went to the Sumitomo Corporation who wants to develop the Rokahanda mine at Mount Taylor and told them, I do not want to become a hibakusha. And they can prevent that by not mining at Mount Taylor. No more nukes. No, no more Fukushima's, no more Chernobyl's. No. We are all radiation nuclear victims. That's right. And Where I come from, they call it the breadbasket of the world. All the agricultural products are shipped out, yet those cows eat radioactive grass. They drink radioactive water. And so what I came here to tell you guys is not just that we have to clean up the mines, but we have to also clean up the mills. So today, we were talking with US Forest Service. We want to stop new conventional uranium mining on our sacred sites. In addition to that, we requested that they work with the EPA to amend the Clean Water Act to include radionuclides within that act because that is something our people desperately need to hold the agencies accountable. You are breathing in radioactive particles every day. It's not just from abandoned uranium mines, it's also from coal smoke. And EPA does not monitor, does not monitor radioactive particles in coal, in coal mining, or in coal-fired power plants. Because I am here delivering a letter directly from an impacted community called Sanders, Arizona which is receiving about twice the legal limit of what is allowable for uranium in the tap water. They are they're one of the highest readings that this gentleman, my colleague from Dinanonux, Tommy Rock, has found 
it, when it took a community effort to do this research. The EPA did not do it. None of the companies have done this kind of research. There is no monitoring, and the people have been drinking this contaminated water for years, and this is going to babies, children, women. Everybody in that community is impacted. There were we are here for healthy communities. We are here for respectful communities. We carry and we honor the prayers of our ancestors with our elders here, keeping in mind our future generations. This action, every action, is a prayer. So we build movements in circles together. Oh, we gotta get closer. We gotta get closer. This is how we build movements, we get closer. Congressman, support, clean up the mine. Support our bill to clean up all the abandoned, 15,000 plus abandoned uranium mines all over Western United States. It's not just affecting our people, it's affecting everybody. Rock, Sioux Indian Reservation. I'm a member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. I, that's my federal designation. My cultural designation or cultural affiliation is Hunk Papa. I am descent, one of the descendants or, of the family of Sitting Bull. We were, our, our leader, Sitting Bull, was murdered by the original police brutality type people. You know, they, they killed him. And ever since then, we had to try to suffer through that. Repression. Governor of New Mexico, all the politicians are for more oil, gas, and uranium mining. So we have a tremendous challenge to influence people to change. We need to understand the impacts of radiation pollution because we know that there's radioactive you know, radioactivity in the coal that's being mined, in uh, fracking that's being done, as well as having these 15,000 abandoned uranium mines across the country. As we thought about it, we saw how it just connects all these different issues of militarism and racism and environmentalism, ecocide, communicide. It was just, wow, this is a, it needs to be worked on hard. Uh, that's why I'm here, because sometimes we have to stand up. We have to stand up and defend ourselves. You know, we we want the people to defend themselves because nobody's talking about this uranium stuff. The radiation is everywhere. 